Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at 10 premium price one bag travel packs. It's been an exciting year in the world of travel bags in general as there's been some awesome new additions to the market as well as updates to some of my old favorites. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the similarities and differences between these bags that can tend to come in at a little bit of a higher price point. All the bags in this video are gonna come in at over $200, some of them over $300. So they're big investments and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to decide which one might be best for you depending on your needs. So that's what I'm hoping to cover in this video. Before jumping in, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. The Air Travel Pack has been one of my favorite one bag travel options for many years now. I've had every iteration of the bag. In some ways, it's one of the ones that really sent me down the rabbit hole as far as exploring travel backpacks in general. And they're currently on the third iteration. This is the Travel Pack 3, which just continues to refine what was already a great bag in the versions prior to it. So it maintains the sleek, minimal, modern aesthetic that Air is so well known for great build quality with the ballistic nylon exterior, YKK zippers. It has one of the most comfortable harness systems in my opinion, so really well padded and breathable straps, a well padded and breathable back panel. The newest addition has load lifters to give you a little bit more control over how the bag sits on your shoulders. You can really pull that weight close to you. It has an excellent separate, you know, dedicated laptop compartment, suspended. It's got a zippered side water bottle pocket handles that are just really comfortable and great to be able to maneuver the bag while you're in transit. You've got a really nice admin area along the front that just gives you a lot of different ways to store and organize all the small essentials that you might be carrying. Then I like that with the latest iteration, Air updated how the compression straps work so you can really tighten the bag down when it's not as full. You can also attach things on the outside. They have these really nice magnetic buckles. Uh, but the cool thing about that is that they don't impede the clamshell style opening, which is you know, really great as far as allowing you to pack. You'll see this with a lot of the bags on the list is that clamshell style. It's great for packing cubes. And so at 35 liters, this version is slightly bigger than the previous iteration, uh, which is great because it gives you some additional flexibility without making the bag seem much bigger. So you know, I can, don't have enough nice things to say about the travel pack. I've talked about it a lot on the channel. And when people are asking me for what my go-to recommendation is, this one is definitely near the top of the list. When I think about Ultimate Comfort, one of the first brands that always comes to mind is Tortuga. They are very well known for their travel backpacks. I've featured a bunch of them on the channel in the past. They've continued to update the different models that they have. They've discontinued some of the ones that I featured in prior videos, but recently they came out with this 40 liter travel backpack. It's also offered in a 30 liter size, but the 40 liter is really the version that I gravitate towards as far as being able to travel a little bit longer. And you know, it's got a really sleek new aesthetic. Tortuga definitely streamlined things compared to their Outbreaker backpack, but still provide an excellent organizational layout. You have quick access pockets. You have an admin area that's gonna provide, you know, some slots to be able to you know, organize all of your smaller accessories. This is a little more simplified from the Outbreaker backpack as well. Then you have, you know, the suitcase style opening. That's one thing that's different uh, about Tortuga backpacks compared to something like the Air Travel Pack is that it has not so much a clamshell style opening, but it opens flat, which can work well depending on your preferences. Tortuga has also released a really great ecosystem of packing cubes. Um, and this is made out of highly weather resistant materials, aqua guarded YKK zippers. So, you know, just a really great premium travel bag, but where Tortuga, again, always stands out is in their comfort. Their harnesses are some of my favorite, particularly on large travel backpacks that are carrying a lot of weight. They do an excellent job of providing just tons of good padding in the straps and the back panel, very, very breathable, good elevation. And you also have the ability to adjust the height of the harness to really match up 
with your particular height and size, which is something that I don't see on all travel bags. So that's a nice bonus here. You also have the load lifters. It includes a really well padded and comfortable waist belt that you can fully remove if you don't wanna use it. I don't tend to use waist belts as much, but it's great that it's included, that you can just have it if you prefer to use it, and it works quite well if you want to do so. Then you have a laptop compartment, so it really checks off all the boxes for what I'd be looking for out of a really solid, spacious one bag travel option. And again, if you're looking for comfort as your top priority, this is gonna be a fantastic option to start with. The GORUCK GR2 is another really well-known one bag travel option that's been around for a while now. It's another one of those bags that I explored early on in my one bag travel journey. I've used many different iterations of the GR2 and it's always one of my favorites as far as durability and reliability. If I was going somewhere and I really wanted to make sure that nothing happened to my bag, the GORUCK bags are still the ones that give me the most peace of mind. There's a lot of different styles of GR2s than when I first learned about GORUCK, so it can be a little bit overwhelming now to pick which is best for you. I actually did a video talking about some of the different models that they have in their lineup. And so they have the Heritage Edition, which is what I have here that's made out of a wax canvas. I think this looks great. I recently took it on a trip to Europe. Absolutely loved it. It held up excellent. But they have, you know, the slick editions that are made out of the Cordura fabrics. They've released some X-Pac versions, Dyneema versions. There's been a lot of different options that are available. In general, they all still offer an excellent build quality, you know, really well padded and rugged straps. The comfort on some of the GORUCK bags can take getting used to. They take a while to break in, and they also don't have the same level of breathability as some of the other bags that I'm talking about in this list. And you know, that can be a pro or a con depending on your particular use cases. So your back is gonna get sweaty when you're wearing this. There's no way around that. But you do have one of the best layouts of any travel bag that I've seen, particularly because you have the dual clamshell opening. And that's something that is not as common across bags in general. And it's something I find super useful. So you have this first clamshell compartment on the front that has some built-in organization. You have a built-in field pocket, some zippered areas for all of your accessories. And then you have the primary clamshell compartment where I would put my packing cubes and larger items. You have a dedicated suspended laptop compartment that works really well. And then you have quick access pocket on the front. Depending on the model that you get of the GR2, some of them will also come with a quick access pocket, which I think is a fantastic addition. If you can get one that has it, I highly recommend it. Uh, the GR2 comes in a couple of different sizes. The version that I've been most partial to is the 26 liter because it can work as a personal item. I've placed it under the seat on an airplane in front of me. It's also something that I can use as an EDC bag. So really just versatile in general, but the 40 liter edition that I featured on the channel is the one that I will go to when I need to carry a ton of stuff. It also allows me to pack in a bullet ruck as an additional backpack if I wanna take something for when I arrive at my destination. So lots of different options, but if you're looking for something that's gonna be with you for many, many years to come, that offers a lot of variety in you know kind of the layout that you can get as far as the combinations, the materials, and you have a little bit of a higher budget, then this is gonna be one of the best options that you can check out. The Evergood CTB line of bags really impressed me when it was first released. I featured the CTB35 in my last travel bag kind of roundup video. It's one of the best options that's on the market. The version that I have here is actually their CTB26. I actually sold the 35 liter just because I have so many other bags in that size range that I'm regularly using. Uh, but it's a fantastic option and I just tend to gravitate more towards the 26 liter version because like some of the other bags that I've talked about, uh, it's in a size that I can use for EDC. It works as a personal item, but the two bags are very similar. So I'm using this as kind of a stand-in for the 35 liter because both of the bags have one of the best organizational layouts that I've seen. Evergoods just lays their pockets out so, so well. They're all leader independent and they're super well thought out. Particularly for travel, this bag has quick access pocket on the front, which is absolutely great for just the items that I'm grabbing while I'm going through TSA or for a toiletry bag. You have a quick access pocket at the top, another fantastic area to just toss in those things that I'm using regularly while I'm on the go. And they work well even when the main compartment of the bag is packed out. You also have kind of an admin area on the front, a great laptop compartment, well padded, suspended. You, on the CTB35, you do have an integrated 
waist belt that's not present on the smaller edition that can work well again i don't normally use the waist belts and it's a little unfortunate you can't remove it so it can be a little finicky to get it in and out but it's good to have it if it's something that you like it has a luggage pastor it's a little different than the one that's on the ctb 26 but both of them have that ability to be paired with a roller bag if you want the harness system on these bags has been really great evergoods has a pretty unique take on their back panel it's got a nice breathable material good padding it's not as robust as some of the other bags like something like the tortuga backpack um, but it still does a great job in my opinion two excellent external water bottle pockets some of the best in the game and then of course you have the really great clamshell style opening that is just going to allow you to organize everything easily you have a nice light lining so you have good visibility a couple of more pockets on the inside again leader independent so you can use these almost as a secondary packing cube or something a little bit bulkier will fit in there comfortably and then evergoods of course has just a really excellent minimal aesthetic that's going to blend in well into any environment so if you're looking for something with that type of a look that is reliable versatile comfortable this is going to be a fantastic option to take a look at The Manal Carry-On is another bag that has been around for a while, very popular in the one bag travel community. They have released a couple of different iterations. The version that I have here is the 3.0. And you know, it keeps a lot of what makes the previous edition great. One of the biggest updates is the material and it manages to do a great job of not attracting lint and dirt, it manages to stay very clean, which is you know, very important for me as a pet owner, but uh, I know a lot of people are really um, kind of picky about keeping their bags clean, which I totally understand. And so this bag does a great job with that. But in addition to that, it just, you know, covers the basics really well as far as a travel bag. It's got a very simple exterior, very minimal as the name would imply. And it has one of the simplest layouts of any of the bags on the list. So if you're looking for something that doesn't have a lot of, you know, the extra bells and whistles per se, this might be appealing in that sense. It still has an external water bottle pocket. The system here is a little bit wonky because it's not the deepest. It does have a bungee cord to help keep your water bottle in place. It's got some really great handles, some compression straps. They have a couple of zippered quick access pockets. So again, just this is pretty much the only external organization, but they work well. They offer a good amount of capacity. And then one area where the Manal bags really, really shine is actually in their laptop compartments. They have potentially the best on the market or one of the best on the market as far as just really this cash system that they have suspends the device on all directions. It's adjustable to match up with a variety of sizes. You can include your tablet in here, your laptop. It feels like it's just super secure from bumps and drops and anything that you might run into. So I've always enjoyed that. You can also grab it from the side, from the top. So just a really clever design there. You do have some other organization for smaller tech items. I'm not as crazy about this section here, but it's okay because I just saved that mostly for the laptop and the tablet. And then you also have uh, you know, a great clamshell style opening. This one is uh, a little bit more unique. Reminds me of some of the uh, Peak Design bags in that you put it, you know, kind of face down so that you can access this voluminous area. This is where you, where you would throw your packing cubes and you also have some good built-in pockets here that can work as almost secondary packing cubes. They actually have a good amount of volume. So, you know, not going crazy, but offering enough, enough options there. And then you have a harness system that you can just hide away if you're you know checking the bag or making it a little bit easier to place into an overhead storage compartment you shouldn't have to check this bag at 35 liters it does come in at a size that is uh, carry-on friendly and then you have the harness system that comes out you have magnetic load lifters that allow you to you know kind of tweak how it rests on your shoulders the harness system here has some good almost gel like padding it's comfortable it's not my favorite style of harness that might just be my personal preference it doesn't feel quite as soft as some of the other bags that I, that I tend to prefer, but it still does a good job on the back. You have that same type of padding, not quite as breathable as some of the uh, air mesh that we've seen in some of the other layouts that are on the bags in this list, but still well padded. It offers enough support under load uh, when you pack the bag completely out. And yeah, if you're looking again for a bag that really is very minimal, but that offers an excellent build quality and you know really, really great laptop protection. And this is gonna be a great option to take a look at. The Peak Design Travel Backpack is definitely one of the most popular premium options. I've seen these a bunch as I've traveled around the world. 
It's offered in the 40 liter size that I have here, as well as a 30 liter size, which I featured on the channel in a couple of different videos. Both of them have an excellent build quality and a really sleek aesthetic. The bag just looks premium in my opinion, very modern and techy. Um, and so it definitely stands out. It's a little different uh, looking in my opinion than some of the other bags on the list. Um, and so really just functional bag. If you're looking for something that has just about anything that you could want in a travel backpack, this one is tough to beat. It has, you know, of course, really deep, useful external water bottle pockets, which are meant to also hold Peak Designs travel tripod. You have 40 liters of capacity that can expand to 45 liters or so to give you a little bit more space if you're traveling longer, if you pick up some souvenirs. It can also compress down to 30 liters if you're looking for something that's a little more manageable for trip where you're not carrying as much or you could potentially use this as an EDC bag. To me, it still feels a little too big for that, but it's nice that they kind of offer you those options. You have good handles all around the bag, so very easy to kind of load this into an overhead storage compartment if needed. Peak Design also always has an interesting system of straps that you can adjust in a variety of ways. They have attachment points throughout the bag and they include the straps so you can use it to hold yoga mats, sleeping bags, uh, jackets, anything that doesn't fit on the inside. The harness system on the Peak Design bags has always been probably the area where I struggle with them a little bit more. Feels like this does have a good amount of padding. It's fine for most people. The bag is also one of the heavier and larger options, so the combination there can start to give a little bit of fatigue depending on what you're carrying. Um, and so, again, the straps do a pretty good job. To me, they're not as robust as some of the other options on this list, but if you're not as picky, with your harness systems, this will be just fine. It has a sternum strap and an integrated waist belt, which I don't tend to use very much. It does have a really cool system. It makes it very easy to get it in and out because of the magnets that Peak Design employs here. It also allows you to easily tuck the straps away when you want to you know, just have an easier time placing it into an overhead storage compartment or if you have to check the bag for whatever reason. So you know, still a really great job and innovative design on the harness system side, you also have an additional handle so you can pick it up or place it onto some luggage. And then the organizational layout on this bag is also pretty impressive. It's a little bit better on the larger version than the small one. That one is fairly limited as far as quick access options and there's just not as many pockets on it in general. This one has this great quick access pocket on the front, super useful, general. And then like the GR2, this one also has kind of a uh, additional clamshell style compartment, which is absolutely fantastic as far as just making it easier to organize all of your stuff and take full advantage of the space. On the lid here, you have a couple of additional zippered pockets. And then you can actually remove a divider here and turn this into just a one compartment bag if you want, but I really like having this dual compartment layout. And then on the larger bag, you also have this cool system that like Peak Design's daily bags allows you to access the main area without taking it all the way off or opening the full clamshell style opening. So as far as access to your stuff, this one is one of the best for providing that. You can reach in, grab whatever you need. It also combines well with Peak Design's ecosystem of accessories. And then if you wanna access the main storage area, you place the bag down and then you can you know, easily pack it out. You have additional organization inside and then you have a really well padded and spacious laptop sleeve on the back. So really just checks off all the boxes and then some. And if you're looking for a super sleek bag, that's gonna really just give you the most flexibility as far as features and functionality and the capacity of the bag. And this is gonna be a really great option to take a look at. The Alpaca Elements backpack was one of the newer bags on my radar this year. I believe it came out a little while back, but I didn't have a chance to test it until somewhat recently. And you know, it's been a great bag in general. It reminds me a little bit of the Air Travel Pack 3 as far as sort of the more techie, modern aesthetic, uh, but it does a lot of things very, very well. It's offered in a really cool X-Pack fabric that also provides a great amount of weather resistance. Aqua guarded YKK zippers. You have a really comfortable and breathable harness system. Alpaca has this really interesting padding on their straps, which always feels quite nice. Luggage pasture, you have load lifters. Uh, it has a quick access pocket on the front, which I'm not as crazy about. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but you know, it still gets the job done. 
you have an admin kind of area for your tech and everyday essentials. A couple of webbing loops here that pair well with Alpaca's ecosystem of accessories. You have the clamshell style opening, of course, so you know easy to load everything out. About 35 liters of space, so really solid one bag travel capacity. And then you have a nice quick access on the side. You have a water bottle pocket, some great handles. You have a well padded uh, laptop compartment. It's suspended, it's got some fleece lining, so really feels like it's gonna keep your device protected while you're on the go. So again, just checking off a lot of the same boxes, very sleek. Um, it also has some nice adjustable and removable compression straps uh, on the bottom here. So just really offering a lot of value and functionality. And if you're looking for something kind of like the Travel Pack 3 that has maybe a little bit of a different layout or aesthetic, but still very modern and versatile, this is gonna be a fantastic option to consider. I was a fan of the original packed travel backpack that they designed in collaboration with Chase Reeves. It has some really unique and interesting features, but they really took it to the next level with the second edition of that bag that was released pretty recently. It's one of the newer bags on this list. So far, I've really enjoyed using it. Pax aesthetic definitely reminded me a little bit of almost an Evergoods type feel, so a little more minimal, rustic. Uh, very versatile look. It's offered in a couple of different colors. The version that I have here is this kind of green color, which I think looks great. And it kept a lot of what made the original unique, which some people might like or not, particularly the split layout of the main area. So this one is uh, meant to open like a suitcase. I lost my zippers here. So right down the middle, like their duffel bags, it's separated into two compartments. And so this can be really useful for organization and easily finding your stuff. One of the interesting aspects about this is that the laptop compartment ends up in the middle of the bag. It does offer a good amount of padding. It's suspended and some would say that it offers a little bit more padding because it's between the two sections of the bag. So you have protection on one side, on the other with your clothes and everything like that, uh, which is an interesting thought. I think that that makes sense. Sometimes I worry that the bulging from either side could place unnecessary pressure on the screen. So I'm still a little torn on that system, but for the most part with how I've packed, it's felt like my laptop has been just fine, well protected. And again, it's nice to have kind of the separation here. It doesn't always work as well. If you have a particular packing cube setup or have bulkier items, it can be a little tricky. Um, but I've adjusted my packing style a bit when traveling with this. And once you get used to it, it can be really cool, not only to be able to split it open, but Pact has provided good access into each segment of the bag. So when it's just standing up from the top, you can reach into each individual compartment. You can also grab your laptop from the middle. So when you're on the go, it's nice to have the ability to access different areas of the bag quickly. Beyond that, they've also added the ability to expand. So this is the 35 liter version of the bag, it expands to about 45 liters, I believe. They also have a larger version that expands even further. So this is a really nice addition for just having some additional capacity when you're on your trip or if you're going for a little bit longer, but also to pair with a packable day bag that they designed as part of this new lineup, which fits nicely into this compartment. So a really well implemented system. Beyond that, it just checks off a lot of the other boxes for what makes a great travel backpack. So the harness system has been updated. I think it's a lot more comfortable on this version. I like the new back panel layout that it has. It also has a luggage pass through. It still has packs sort of unique uh, TSA pocket on the back that you know will allow you to place all the things from your pocket that you don't want to forget accidentally in one of the bins. It's got a good external water bottle pocket and then a great organizational layout on the front. So quick access pocket, good amount of volume here. So this is gonna be able to handle some bulky stuff and then an admin type compartment which has some internal organization as well. And then you have really great handles all throughout, side handles that allow you to hold each side, whether you have it open, closed, great one at the top, and then just a really solid build quality made from sustainably uh, made materials. And yeah, great experience overall with the V2 travel backpack. Again, the aesthetic, the build quality, it's got a good amount of space. I like that it's a little bit bigger this time around and that you have the two sizing options. And so if you're looking for something that has this sort of a more kind of minimal heritage vibe, and that also has the unique split opening, which might work for you, particularly if you don't wanna like deal with as many packing cubes and things like that. And this is gonna be a really interesting option to consider.
The Bellroy Transit line includes some of my favorite bags across a number of categories. They have the 20 liter Transit Work Pack, which is one of my favorite work and everyday bags. They have the 28 liter Transit Pack, which is a really great larger capacity EDC or minimal travel bag. And then they have the Transit Plus, which is a more full-fledged, longer-term, carry-on friendly backpack. It comes in at about 38 liters. And Bellroy's aesthetic to me is just strikes such a great balance between almost like an Air and an Evergoods. So it's got a little bit more of that modern, slightly techy vibe, but very minimal, very clean. Uh, so just a lot simpler than the airbag. And that's kind of what makes me think of an Evergoods bag as well. So really cool mixture as far as the look. And then you have some great you know, materials as far as the build quality, aqua guarded YKK zippers, 38 liter capacity is gonna be able to hold a ton of stuff. The harness system here is really comfortable, well padded straps. You have a breathable uh, back panel with some good kind of ridges here and elevation to provide some airflow. It's got an integrated waist belt that, you know, I could take or leave. You can kind of tuck it away. It's pretty small. It's not quite as robust as some of the other waist belts that we've seen on bags in this video, but you know, it's there if you need it. And then of course the same type of layout that we've seen on some of Bellroy's other bags, starting with a dedicated laptop compartment. Bellroy has some of the best of any bags in this in the game you know the laptop compartments have soft lining they're suspended good amount of padding they also have this integrated kind of tech compartment that just pairs super nicely with some of the tech kits that bellroy sells so really great just laptop implementation solid quick access pocket at the top not super big it's going to be great for something uh slimmer like a pair of sunglasses without a case or maybe your airpods or uh, just some glasses cables you have a quick access pocket on the front with some just simple organization, all the stuff that you're gonna be grabbing regularly while you're in transit. On the sides, it doesn't have traditional water bottle pockets per se. It has these sort of hidden compartments that Bellaray has started incorporating in a lot of their bags. So depending on what you have packed out in the main area and the size of water bottle that you would want to use, this may not be the easiest to use, but I actually like this system because it allows the compartments to work not only as water bottle pockets, but for holding other stuff that you might want to grab more regularly. If you have pouches, tech gear, laptop charger, something like that, you can place it into here. And because it's a zippered compartment, uh, it's not going to fall out. And it's also slightly hidden since it rests against your back. And then you have the clamshell style opening. You can lock the main zipper, which is something that uh, is really helpful for travel. And then on the inside, pretty simple as far as the layout, but is able to hold an impressive amount uh, for one bag travel while staying carry on friendly. A couple of zippered pockets on the lid to provide some organization, slip pocket on the side. Then you have these compression straps on the inside, which I, I generally don't use very much. I'll kind of just place it across to hold my stuff in place, but because my items are in packing cubes, it's, a, it's not really a big deal, but it's there if you need it. So great, you know, one bag travel option overall. If you need something that's gonna be a little bit more spacious, that's comfortable, and it's gonna give you that nice blend of a you know sophisticated modern aesthetic that's still fairly minimal then the transit plus is going to be a fantastic option to take a look at tom bin is a name that's often associated with one bag travel they have a variety of great travel bag options like their Teconaut bag which i featured in my last travel bag roundup that's still an excellent bag it's offered in a couple of different sizes but i wanted to bring in the cynic this time around as this for a long time has been a very very popular in the minimal travel community starting with the synapse 25 from long ago uh, that bag they iterated on with the cynic 30 included a frame sheet and a couple of other updates that i'll call out in a second and you know really just it has been transformed into a very popular option it comes in at 30 liters so it's slightly smaller than some of the other options on this list but it's deceptively spacious for being a 30 liter bag um, so really impressive overall one of the things that stands out about the cynic and tom bin's bags in general is the organization so this has one of the coolest pocket layouts of any bag that i've used you have this really awesome big compartment on the bottom here Tombin also has the O-ring system that allows the, their bags to pair with the number of accessories that they sell, a bunch of different pouches and stuff that I love integrating with these bags. Um, but, you know, really spacious compartment here. You have these excellent compartments on the side that have some internal organization. Again, more O-rings. The layout here is just super, super functional. It's very easy to find whatever you need 
when you need it. And like Evergoods bags, these are leader independent, so you can use these comfortably even when the main compartment is packed out, which is always impressive to me. Good quick access pocket here on the front. And then one of the interesting things about the Cynic line of bags is that they have the water bottle pocket in the middle of the bag, which I'm always a little torn on. I definitely understand that this helps maintain some balance in the bag. You don't have it on one side and kind of pulling the bag to the side. Um, it can be a little tricky if you have a really big water bottle and maybe eat up some of the space from the main area or just kind of make it awkward to pack everything out. So, you know, I've, again, I can work with it and in some ways it's better than the other systems, but you know, it'll come down to kind of your preference and what you're packing. Beyond that, this also just works as a great larger compartment for other pouches and things that you might be carrying. Then with the Cynic, you also have a laptop sleeve that is accessible from the side or from the main area, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then Tom Bin straps are very popular. These have a nice kind of gel-like padding and they're this edgeless style that Tombin has been using on their bag so they don't pinch your shoulders when the bag is a little bit more packed out. The straps aren't quite as breathable as some of the other straps on the list that I really like. The back panel also offers some breathability, a little bit of mesh here at the top, a good amount of padding, but again, not quite as robust as some of the bags that I typically like to use when I'm really traveling for a longer time. Uh, but still, good, good amount of comfort for the size of the bag. And then you have the clamshell style opening, which is what one of the biggest changes from the Cynic and the Synapse line of bags is that it opens up flat like a suitcase and like you know most modern travel bags. And then on the inside, the bag includes a couple of compression straps that you can actually remove if you don't wanna use them, which is nice. Again, that modularity that Tom Bin offers. You have a slip pocket on the inside. And then this shape just allows it to hold a ton of stuff. I always feel like it can really hold more than some of the other 30 liter bags that I tend to use. And on the back here, you also have a better view of the laptop sleeve, which again, you can access it from here. You can access it from the side. So if your bag's under the seat, you can still reach down and grab it. I'm not as crazy about the laptop sleeve as it's not that thick or padded compared to the laptop compartments of some of the other bags that I've been talking about. It is maybe slightly pulled up off the bottom, but not really a big substantial false bottom. So this is an area where I would still probably wanna use a case with my laptop if I was traveling. And this, because it's part of the main area, will still take up some capacity if you have a bulkier laptop. So I like that other bags have a dedicated, completely separate laptop area, but you know, that's just me. I know a lot of people don't travel that much with their laptops or they don't care as much about it. So, you know, if that's not as big of a deal, then you can take full advantage of the capacity. And yeah, in general, if you're looking for a durable bag, this one is in the ballistic nylon fabric. They have it in a few different combinations, lots of interesting colors. And if you want something that's gonna give you just kind of ultimate organizational power and the ability to customize with a myriad of cool modular accessories, then Tom Ben is still gonna be one of the best to take a look at. And so that's it. Those are 10 premium price one bag travel options that I've enjoyed using as of late. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you have any questions on the bags that I featured in the video or suggestions for similar bags that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I'll make sure to include links in the description below to the dedicated reviews that I've done for the bags that I talked about in the video, as well as to some of the other roundup videos that I've done, like my previous top 10 travel backpack video. There's been some updates since then. Some of the bags have been discontinued, but still some great options there, as well as some of my favorite minimal travel bags that are a little bit smaller and can sometimes double as an EDC bag expandable travel backpacks, some of my favorite daily bags. So if you like these types of videos, make sure to check those out. And as always, I wanna thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.